Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be on the Maybelline Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss. Now I got this today and I'm really excited to try this, although I really don't like lip gloss, so this is why I'm trying it to see if it is sticky. Um, the whole claim about this is that it's non-sticky, so I will put that to the test. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! To start off this video, I'm going to be stating some claims that it says on Ulta's website. I got this at Ulta earlier today, so um, I'm going to be reading what it says, and then I'll go in my actual review and impression after. So this is, like I said before, the Maybelline Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Gloss. I got my color in Fab Fuchsia. Now the reason why I only got one was because I hate lip gloss, um, purely because of the stickiness. And um, one of the big things it says about this is that it is not sticky. Now the benefits of this, it says color and shine meets serious care, 12 shades, 3 finishes. Now there's 3 of them, the shimmers, the creams, and the jellies. I got a jelly because that was the one most appealing to me. Um, I just like the color of this a lot better than the other ones. And what else? 100% creamy shine, comfort, and vitamin E. So that's what it says. It says how to use, but I'm really not going to go into that because, I mean, how can you apply lip gloss wrong? Um, but yeah. Now the thing that I really want to test out about this lip gloss is that if it's non-sticky. It claims right on the website that it's non-sticky. And that is a huge problem with me in lip gloss. That's why I never wear lip gloss. I might have like one lip gloss, but that was when I was younger. And I still have. It's probably really old now. But um, I never wear lip gloss. And I'm always a matte girl. This was hard for me to buy because I will probably never wear this again if I don't like it. I'll probably throw it away. Something that jumps out to me right now is the packaging is really, really adorable. I love how they have the bold fonts with the neon colors. I think that's just really, really appealing to the eye. Now the color looks very neon, but it's almost like that lip gloss that you had when you were little and you could almost see through it. So I'm really, really um, interested on how the pigmentation is in this. I'm going to open it up for you and see my first impression on the smell. Oh god, that smells disgusting. Okay, you know what it smells like? This is like the best thing I think I can descri describe it as. It reminds me of like that Wohler lip gloss, the one that was like really petroleum jelly uh, based and smelled like like artificial candy. I don't like that smell. I think it's too strong too. Hopefully it goes away on the lips because that will really bother me. Artificial candy. I don't like that smell. I think it's too strong too. Hopefully it goes away on the lips because that will really bother me. But let's just get past the smell and let's talk about the applicator. So the applicator is a regular doe foot applicator. As in most lip glosses, they have doe foot applicators. So I don't know if you can see that because my camera probably didn't focus. So let's get on to me applying this lip gloss. Now I'm really nervous about this. I really don't want to do this. It looks so gross. Okay. Have a mirror here so I don't get it all over my face. Okay, so a first impression right now is that it's a little thick, which I don't mind. Um, it's definitely not sticky, which I'm really, really surprised about. I don't know if you can see this, but this has no color whatsoever on my lips. Since I got the jelly ones, maybe that meant like it doesn't have enough pigmentation as the other ones, but I'm just going to do a swatch for you guys. And if you can see, it's like the slightest amount of color right there. I swear, this is just a clear lip gloss on my lips. One thing that I do like about this lip gloss a lot is that it's non-sticky whatsoever, which was the only claim it really made on its website. Um, but yeah, that was actually really surprising. This is like the first lip gloss I've ever had that doesn't isn't sticky. I like the texture. It feels nice. The price at Ulta was $4.49, and I got $0.90 cents off because I had a 20% off coupon or whatever. Um, so it came out to $3.59. Now that's not a bad price for this lip gloss. If you do like lip gloss, I'm sure this is right up your alley. This is really non-sticky and for even people like me who really don't like lip gloss at all, I would probably wear this once in a while. I think it gives off just a really nice natural look to your lips just to make it pop a little more and overall I would rate this maybe like a 4 out of 5. I'm really surprised about that rating because I had low hopes for this. The only two things I don't like about this lip gloss is that I hate the smell which is kind of, it depends on your taste. I really don't like the smell of fruity candy scents. I think that's just disgusting and artificial. I don't like that. Um, I would rather have it just be like, 
you know, some type of like artificial vanilla or something like that. I think that would be a lot better than this smell. Also, the second um, thing that I don't like about it is it is not pigmented at all. It's, at least on my lips, it's just a clear gloss. For you guys, it might be more pink for you, but my lips are really, really pigmented already, so it's kind of hard to cover them up. So, um, yeah, that's it for my review today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys, and give you a re review <laughs> video. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. So, welcome, welcome to my channel.